This is R.D. Sharma Solution Class 12, Chapter 10 Differentiability, MCQ Multiple Choice Questions we are taking. Now uh, we will be talking about the cos x modulus and sin x modulus, there will be question. Uh, we have discussed it but I will uh, give you a brief explanation of that but that this uh, will take later. So this uh, question fx is equal to under root of 1 minus under root 1 minus x square. Then fx is there are multiple options being given. And please uh, note that the options are negative 1 to 1 and 0. So when you have a function like this, this fx is 0 when. That is how we decide where to check. So when you put x equals to 0, what do you get? 1 minus under root 1 minus 0. So under root 1 is 1 only. And 1 minus 1 is again 0. So under root 1 minus 1 is 0. And under root 1 is uh, under root 1 is 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0 and under root 0 is 0. That means this function will be 0 at 0. So we have to check at x equals to 0. Right? Please remember whenever we check at that point where the function is getting 0 if we are not provided any limit. Or any boundary. First thing is whether this function is valid or not that you have to check and since we know if this function is valid and if it is a polynomial or any kind of uh, what we have learned you know any kind of type of that then we can safely say it is continuous but we have to first verify and find out that it should not be negative inside a root. So a normal function will not be like this if you have under root negative that will be a complex function or complex kind of mathematics. So we will not talk about that. We just consider that there should not be anything inside root which, which is negative. So 1 minus x square inside the root should not be negative. So 1 minus x square should be greater than or equal to 0. Right? It should be greater than or equal to 0. That means x square should be greater than or equal to 1 and that is negative, negative and positive whether whatever the value is there the square should be greater than or equal to 1. Okay. So how to solve this inequality you can just add x square on both the sides. This gets cancelled and you have x square which is less than or equal to 1 is coming. x square less than or equal to 1 means x c this is equivalent to modulus x. Please remember x square less than or equal to 1 is equivalent to modulus x that is if you put negative x or positive x that is going to be less than 1 only. It can be negative positive both. So how will you decide what will be the range what is the boundary. I am I am uh, you know indicating modulus x because this modulus x will be using in a short while in another question. So you need to know this x square is somewhat equal to that modulus x. Modulus x as I am saying this is equal equivalent. So x is less than or equal to 1. Negative x is less than or equal to 1. You can square it also. If you square it, it will be x square less than or equal to 1. Okay. I hope you got the idea. So x is less than or equal to 1 and negative x is less than or equal to 1. So you can multiply both sides by negative. So the equality or inequality sign changes. So x is less than or equal to 1 and x is greater than or equal to minus 1. So now you got the boundary and that is how the question 4 options is also showing you negative 1 to 1 that is how the negative 1 and 1 has come. So x is in between negative 1 and 1 that is valid in the question and that we have showed also and since we know that equivalent, question, equivalent uh, solution for the modulus x since it is differentiable we don't know or we will not talk about differentiability of that but we know that this function is a continuous. So when you have a function like this and this function when we can define it for uh, uh, the legal values between negative and 1 to 1 that I already showed this function is continuous. Now we'll go to the differentiability. Okay. So limit extends to c. This is how we write. Limit extends to c. Uh, this c is 0 here because we have already checked that this function will be 0 at 0. So fx minus fc divided by x minus c. What does it mean? fx is what? This function. 
Okay, we'll use this function. And in place of uh, left hand derivative, we will replace this x by 0 minus h, which is equivalent to negative h. And this one on the right, if you just see that that will be uh, replaced by 0 plus h, which is equivalent to h. Okay. fx, we will directly put these uh, uh, function value and then we'll replace x by minus h and plus h uh, de depending upon when we are taking the LHD or RAT. So I already told you f0, we have already checked it. f0 was 0, remember? So in place of fc, which is f0, we'll put as 0. x minus c, c is 0. So this, this is division by x. So we'll use this uh, simplified version fx, my, fx by x in both the cases. One time it will come as negative h, one time it is come as positive h in the denominator. So 1 minus under root 1 minus x1, I'm doing this only, left hand uh, derivative, you'll, you'll understand what will be the right hand one. So I'm replacing it by negative h now, the x by negative h, please remember you have to write limit x tends to 0 minus, then you have to uh, replace x by 0 minus h, then you have to replace uh, the limit by limit h tends to 0, okay, that you will do. What I'm doing here is, so I'm replacing x by negative h. So limit h tends to 0, this means what? I am replacing x by 0 minus h here, so minus h here, under root 1 minus 1 minus negative h whole square is h square whole square. That was the whole discussion just a few minutes back. Now divided by what will be this? Uh, negative h. It is negative h. Please remember it is negative h. I'll just uh, in a correct it. So can you, can you resolve it? You can try it. You can, you can uh, try rationalizing it. But I'll show you that when you multiply this by 1 minus under root 1 minus h square because you have to replace, you have to get rid of the under root. That is how you have to do. If you want, you can, uh, you know, multiply it by plus. Okay, you can multiply by plus so that you, that will also not solve the issue. So you're not getting anything, right? So the only thing is you have to put h as 0. We tried but we failed. That is, we try to simplify it so that h can be cancelled. But here you have under root 1 minus, uh, I'm replacing h by 0, so you get 0 in the numerators, h is in the denominator, so negative h or h, it doesn't matter, 0 by 0, and this is the infinite. That is not describable, you cannot describe it. Similarly here on the RHD also, you will see, when you put h as h, h plus h, same result will come. Almost same, because it will be negative 0 by 0, one, one time it is plus 0 by 0, so it will be negative infinity and infinity. So infinity is not known to us, it is it is not, uh, you cannot describe infinity. In Ramanujam series, we have seen 0 by 0 is 1, but that is incorrect. In mathematics, 0 by 0 is undefined, please remember. In Ramanujam theory or the web series, you can find it out that if you have a similar number, uh, numerator, denominator, it is 1, but it is not, okay. So not defined. So when the function is not even defined, if you if you want to take derivative, how can you say it is differentiable? So this function is not differentiable at x equals to 0. That is our final verdict, okay? So you have to see that negative 1 till 0, 0 not inclusive, it is okay. From 0 to 1, 0 not inclusive, it is okay. So you can say that from uh, differentiability can only be between minus 1 to 1 without 0, okay? So the option correct is differentiable on negative 1 to 0 union 0 to 1 but it was continuous at negative 1 to 1 that we already showed you. So this is differentiability you have to strongly say it is not at 0. So round bracket that is we are not including 0 but square bracket for negative 1 to 1 that I already showed you that this function is continuous between negative 1 and 1. Okay. So the answer is what? This is the B is the answer. If fx equals to a modulus of sin x plus b e raised to modulus x plus c modulus of x cube. Now I can tell you the answer. The answer is in front of you also. You know that is not a problem. But the problem here is the interpretation of modulus sin x. When I told you about modulus sin x in the previous discussions, you have already seen that the negative and positive depend upon whether v is a multiple of n pi or not. That is, if I make a graph, just to make you understand, if this graph is passing through like this, sine 0 is 0, and sine 90 is 1, and sine pi again 0, so it, is, it oscillates between 1 and negative 1. So from 0 to 1, it is positive. From 0 to negative 1, it is negative. 
Modulus x means what? This negative part should not be there. It has to be taken on the positive y-axis. Right? Okay. That is what we do. This modulus means this here. So 0, pi by 2, pi. Then you have this uh, 3 pi by 2. And then we have your 2 pi. That is how it works. So at 0, pi, 2 pi, that is n pi, the sin x is going to be 0. But when it will be positive or negative? Just above n pi and below n pi. You can say that. The whole interpretation is or discussion is sin x modulus cannot be discussed here. We will blind our eyes, we will close our eyes and we will do the way the question asks us to do. I hope you got the idea. I am saying this modulus sin x has a different interpretation. You cannot just open the modulus just like that. It has to include n pi and all the other factors. But now I am blinding my eyes and I just know that modulus y or modulus of anything is plus y depending upon when y is greater than or equal to 0 or y is less than or equal to 0. Number 9, if you go left it is negative, it is, if you go right it is positive. So I will treat modulus of sin x exactly like this not as nine, nine, uh, n pi here just because the options being given the the options which are provided here is not talking about n pi or 2 n plus 1 pi by 2 whatever okay so what we will do here is we will simply say modulus x is x when x is greater than or equal to 0 it is going to be negative x when x is less than 0 that is what we are going to follow to solve this question Okay, we'll apply uh, L has hospital rule also. That is a differentiation of numerator and denominator that is inevitable in this question. We have to do it. So when x is greater than equal greater than zero, uh, greater than equal to zero, all will be positive. A sin x plus b e b e raised to the power x plus c modulus x uh, c x cube. This is f x. When x is less than zero, then just take negative minus a sin x plus c sine minus sine minus theta is minus sine theta please remember but we we are not talking about sine modulus x we are talking about modulus of sine x so it will be minus a sine x plus b into e raised to the power negative this this is negative x okay and then minus because x cube it is a odd power so when you take the negative of negative one and odd power it will always be negative so it will be negative c x cube Negative cx cube, please remember, I just miss c, you just uh, assume that there is c. Okay, so we will find out the differentiability. This function is asking about differentiability. So x equals to 0, we'll check the differentiability, we'll take the left hand derivative, we'll take the right hand derivative at x equals to 0. So fx minus fc divided by x minus c, limit x tends to c, is what we use. See, okay fx what we will use, we will use on the left, that is x less than 0, this is the lower one and x greater than 0, this upper one, this we are going to use. This function on left and right and you, you, uh, you will put x as 0 minus h in the left hand derivative and you have to put x equals to 0 plus h in the right hand derivative. Since we are on the derivative, we can apply the L hospital rule. Remember, L hospital rule is differentiating numerator and denominator together. In order to solve the question. What is F0? When you apply 0 in this x greater than or equal to 0 function which we just found. You say a sin 0 plus b raised to the power 0 plus c into 0 square. So this a sin 0 is 0. Here only b will remain. And here c into 0 is 0. So only b will remain. So Fc is b. F0 is b. Okay. F0 which is Fc. C is 0 in this case. Uh, because the function is getting 0 there. Or you are getting a b there. You have to check at 0. So the function is not getting 0. But it has a b. So fx minus b divided by x. Because c is 0 here. So final uh, simplified version is fx minus b by x. Now we have to replace x by 0 minus h here on the left hand derivative. We have to replace x by 0 plus h in the right hand derivative. So I am now replacing minus a sine minus h. Plus b e raised to the power minus of minus h minus in place of x minus h whole cube 
माइनस बी इज ऑल्सो देर डिवाइडेड बाय जीरो माइनस एच दैट इज नेगेटिव एच ओके साइन माइनस थीटा इज माइनस साइन थीटा सो दिस बिकम्स पॉजिटिव यू गेट ए साइन एच एच and then you have b raised to the power e to the power minus of minus h minus minus gets cancel you will only get b raised to the power e to the power h and here you have negative h whole cube that will be negative h whole cube only when you apply the cube on the negative it will be negative 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 becomes positive so it will be positive of h cube c h cube and you have a negative b also right and in the denominator you have negative h let it be a negative h on right what we get we will just replace h by the x by h so it will be a sin h please remember we are taking x greater than equal to 0 here a sin h plus b e raised to the power h plus c h cube and minus b also because fx minus b by x x is h so h we are replacing okay now we are stuck there is no x common and since it is the function is differentiable at x equal to 0 the function is already given the question is saying that so we have to equate the left hand derivative with the right hand derivative so a sin h plus b e h plus c h cube minus b by h and left also we have something like that we will not be able to solve so we have to apply certain rules so that we get rid of some or the other thing we can simplify it so we will apply the l hospital rule which just says if some some up where you are stuck you are not able to solve try differentiating the numerator and denominator this is not a differentiation question but but there is no option other than to apply the l hospital rule okay so we will differentiate the numerator and denominator together okay a sin h is cos h Plus b e raise h is e raise h plus this become three c h square by minus b this is a constant this becomes zero. We wanted to get rid of minus b and this is how it is possible. And we have a negative h d by d h we are doing so it will be negative negative sign will be there h differentiation with respect to h is one. Right hand side also a cos h plus b e h plus three c h square. C is same thing three c h square minus b will be zero because we are differentiating. Uh, denominator is what differentiation of denominator with respect to h is going to be one. Now apply the limit. Now you can apply the limit. Cos zero is going to be one. So let me write it a, and then we have e raised to the power zero is one. So you get b, and since we have a h here, so it be this becomes zero. Here also you get you have a negative one in the denominator. One in the denominator on the right hand side. Cos zero is one, so you get a. a. And this e is zero. You get b, and the c h square h is zero. So you, you can just uh, strike it off. So, so negative here. So you can write it as negative a a plus b. And since differentiability is is at x equal to zero, you have to equate them. These two there will be equal. Take negative a plus b on the right hand side will be positive a plus b. So you get two a plus two b equals zero. You can take two common. You get a plus b equals zero. So a plus b equal to zero. When a plus b will be equal to zero? You see all the options. When a and b both will be equal to zero, when a is equal to zero, b is equal to zero, you will get a plus b equal to zero. This is your option. Second, first is incorrect. Second option is the correct one. So you can say that this is the answer. Okay. See, this particular differentiability chapter, this question should not be asked. but since in your examination any question can be asked you have to know about differentiability and differentiation together l hospital rule all these are uh, you can say uh, the rows of a bunch